The special counsel's investigation into possible Russian collusion by the Trump administration continues. And through this investigation, we're finding more and more interesting um, tidbits about what happened during this past election, information that was unraveled by our intelligence communities. And now we have even more um, elaborate detail into just how far Russia went in order to uh, play a role in our elections. Now, recently, Facebook. Uh, let investigators know that through their own investigation into their ad sales, they found that they had sold ads to individuals who were basically working for the Internet Research Agency. That is a Russian troll farm. These are individuals who purposely put out fake information or propaganda in order to lead to divisiveness and negativity and other things that could potentially sway some of the more vulnerable undecided voters out there. So representatives of Facebook told congressional investigators Wednesday that the social network has discovered that it sold ads during the US presidential campaign to this shadowy Russian company seeking to target voters. They traced the ad sales totaling $100,000 to a Russian troll farm with a history of pushing pro Kremlin propaganda. So there were about 3,300 ads that had digital footprints that led to this particular Russian company. Again, the Internet Research Agency. Now, um, can I just say real quick sure. uh, that um, ex employees of that particular company have come out and said, yes, we definitely push pro Kremlin propaganda in other instances. Um, and this was quotes from earlier because this story about Facebook just broke, obviously. And uh, so, for example, Boris uh, Nemtsov, who was a, a Putin critic, was murdered in 2015. And uh, this same company immediately started um, doing personal attacks on his character after he was killed. Gee, I wonder if the Russian government killed him. I can't quite tell, mm -hmm. but this is what they do. After you know they kill someone, they smear him. Um, unfortunately, sometimes we see that here in America as well. But uh, they then turn their trolling to outside of Russia, and in this case, to our elections. To our elections. So uh, the earliest instance that Facebook found was back in 2015, uh, when you know the election season started to really ramp up. And at that point, um, the ads that were uh, put out there, the content that was put out there by this Russian troll farm focused specifically on Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Although Facebook is refusing to identify which candidate these uh, trolls were endorsing. Come on, right? come, on, so come, on come on, come on, come on, come on. That's you what know, they're saying. You know which one it was, everybody knows it. Hey, look, if it turns out Facebook says later, hey, you know what, they were actually supporting Hillary Clinton. That would be amazing, and we would report that, and we would go, "Wow, we didn't see that coming." Right, and that's also terrible, by the way, if they are supporting Hillary Clinton. We don't want any meddling of the elections, no matter whose side they were on. Right, but you know, in reality, of course, it was for Donald Trump. So here's what else Facebook found through their own investigation: their teams discovered 470 suspicious and likely fraudulent Facebook accounts and pages that it believes operated out of Russia had links to the company and were involved in promoting the ads. Now, although they declined to say which candidate the ads favored. Now, most of the ads appear to focus on amplifying divisive social and political messages across the ideological spectrum, touching on topics from LGBT matters, uh, to race issues, to immigration, to gun rights. I, I want to pause there because that's super important. Guys, you got to be careful about what's going on on the internet because there are troll farms out there and their whole job is to divide us. So mission number one for Russia was create so division inside the United States, cause chaos. Mission number two was, I mean, can you imagine if Trump got elected? That would be amazing since he owes us all that money and we have compromata on him. Now that part is my speculation backed up by overwhelming circumstantial evidence that's already public. Right. Um, but uh, I think that they probably like a lot of other people thought it was a long shot, but their ads did go towards very likely and based on what we know already went towards Donald Trump and attacking Hillary Clinton, but not exclusively. At New York Times did a story about six months ago that there was another troll farm out of Macedonia, and they were trying to divide the Democrats. Now, again, that helps Trump and the Republicans, but the way that they were dividing Democrats were by 
posing as Bernie bros who would then say sexist and outrageous stuff to other Democrats. Mm -hmm. So that the Hillary Clinton team could then go, you see that? You shouldn't trust any of the Bernie people. Here are these Bernie bros saying sexist things. It turns out it was the Russians. Right. So that's amazing, that's a New York Times story. This one is a Washington Post story. So when you see people that go on these hot button issues and try to provoke you, calm down. It might be a, a, a troll in Eastern Europe and don't buy into that. Now when you see actual human beings on TV dividing you, that's real, <laughs> okay? And and so that's a different category. But but they wanna they want us to uh, to be at each other's throats on social media. So don't help them do that. Don't help them do that. And you know it's incredible how much it worked because I'm sure we all experienced it, where you see an article that has outlandish allegations and claims, and people will buy into it, and then people engage into debates as to whether or not it's real, whether it's Hillary Clinton having a terminal illness or Seth Rich allegedly getting murdered by someone in the DNC or Pizzagate. Like all sorts of nonsense kept popping up on Facebook. And you know, I don't know if those specific conspiracies and those specific fake news stories came specifically from these Russian troll farms, but that's the kind of stuff that you saw on social media. And when you consider the fact that a lot of people get their information from what's shared on social media, it's concerning. Now the Can next Can I just step, say on yeah. that issue, because I took a lot of heat from folks. Uh, when I said Hillary Clinton was not terminally ill. Um, well, I'm waiting for your apology, because she hasn't died yet. You were convinced that she has some sort of brain tumor or something like that. And but by the way- she was coughing a lot, like, yeah. like how and by we the way, do on the show. A, a lot of it, some of it was you guys, you guys meaning generally some tiny sliver of the audience, right? And some of it was the trolls yeah. who were like, oh, Cenk or whatever, right? And then CNN, etc. Whoever they directed to, oh, you're just shilling for her when she obviously is mentally disabled. I'm like, I've seen the debates. There is someone mentally disabled in the debates, and it isn't Hillary Clinton. Okay, so and it goes with the conspiracy theories on the right as well, where they're like, oh, Obama's going to do the FEMA camps. He left office. There was no FEMA camps. I'm still waiting for the apology. So anyway, um, and and some of it helped Hillary Clinton, and they used that. To say, aha, here's a Twitter account who no one can trace that says something sexist and pretended to be for Bernie Sanders. And the Clinton machine loved that. And they would purposely pick that up and go, you see that? Everybody who's in favor of the most liberal senator in the country is sexist and racist. They use it for their own purposes. So there was a lot of bad intent on a lot of sides here. Absolutely. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to bring up is now that we have this information, it's up to investigators to figure out whether or not this is something that the Russian troll farm did on its own with the influence of the Kremlin, or if there was some potential possible involvement by the Trump camp. Whether or not the Trump camp directed individuals to do what they did with these Facebook ads. So the investigation continues. Again, it's a very slow and steady drip of information that we're getting. But considering the fact that in November, Mark Zuckerberg completely denied that there was a fake news problem on Facebook, it's interesting to see how far they've come in kind of accepting what's really going on. No, now, there's a ton of connections between Donald Trump and the Russian government during the campaign and way before. The campaign, but to be fair, there is no smoking gun yet on this issue of did the Trump campaign know about the troll farms? I have not seen evidence of that yet, and Facebook has not presented evidence of that yet. So I just want to be fair and clear on that. Why are we suspicious of them? I mean, there's I'll just they lied about the meeting that they had with those Russian like officials and a thousand other things. Yeah. Donald Trump Jr. just came out. And said, "Oh, I met with the Russian lawyers, and I know in the email I said I love it that they were going to give me information about Hillary Clinton from a foreign source. I'm not supposed to get it from. I didn't mean I love it that I'm going to get that illegal information. I meant that I love it that they were setting up the meeting. It was such a nice thing for them to do. I wasn't trying to get bad information about Hillary Clinton. I was just trying to make sure she was fit for office. Wanted to make sure she was okay. Oh, come on! Does anybody believe that?" Even if you're a right winger, you can't believe that. 
That, come on. So they obviously did want to work with the Russians in some ways, whether they actually worked with them in this way right. is yet to be determined. Exactly. If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com/join.